everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I am now walking through the 3D printing section. This is crazy. They're even printing in sugar. These are edible 3D printed objects. Essentially just powdered sugar and food coloring. Look at that. We just edible coloring. Unbelievable. So these are all just powdered sugar then. Is there any flavoring inside of these ones? Yeah, these are sour apples. These are a sour apple. 3D print line. Awesome. Print. Anything that can fit in the tube, right? Anything you can squeeze out of the tube. Now, if you fill a tube with milk, it's going to run all over the place. Well, but, yes, yeah. but anything that's... Basically like toothpaste, anywhere. The consistency between toothpaste and precious metal clay, which right. is really dense. Right. So he was actually able to use Play-Doh, although not the best medium. And also here's a silicone piece, so this is just silicone. RTV, room temperature vulcanizing silicone. Ah. And this is Subaru that cures at room temperature, that's rubber, so you can bounce it. Right? And we have some rubber here, look at this. The Play-Doh dries out, this is plastic. Plasticine. That is pretty awesome. Oh We're just not doing it right now. So that the whole rotating mechanism was that that was that made with this or that's just yes everything on this was 3D printed. So the way this works is there's a couple different parts on it. Yeah. And there's a middle part and each part is connected from a pin and the pins were 3D printed as well. Wow. Okay. So it was all done individually and then you had to put it together. Yes. Okay. This awesome thing was made with this plastic filament. The magic here is done with a special set of instructions that contain coordinates and then the tip that places the filament gets very, very hot and essentially glue guns the filament pieces together. And this actually works, so this is our, an example again of, so, of many different pieces to, 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 to yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, turn it, it works. Right, left, right, clockwise. Look, you got nims! <laughs> So here we have more 3D printing. These ones are all resin based. Quite a bit different in appearance than the ones that are done with the plastic or the nylon. What's interesting here is it will actually print on top of these little supports here and then at the end you have to break these off. Quite intricate looking busts here. And how much do these bottles run you? And how much can you make per, per one? Uh, that's $149 for the bottle, uh -huh. which is 77 of this rough. Okay, so you can make 77 of these guys so here. So about $2 in material cost for this little chess piece. Okay, which is not bad. It's expensive to produce a whole chess board, but that's not why you buy it. So here we have a resin model being printed right now by a laser. It tells you what layer it's on. They are making a skull. So how long total if it's already done? About a third of it, you think? About, uh, about, eight, 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 eight hours. About eight hours total to print this crystal skull here. <laughs> sure, absolutely. This is now, that looks like Iron Man. Hi, sir. It's two, two heated jets uh -huh. two materials and two colors at the same time. Oh, cool. I can print two colors at the same time. Of course, Samsung just had to chime in and have some type of a prototype to show in their showroom, which was pretty cool. You could make these coins to customize their cases, but I don't know if it's actually going to come to market. There was just so much awesomeness that I couldn't believe it. 3D printing is the future, people!